YouTube, prepare yourself. Jesus Christ, that was my first attempt at beatboxing. It was terrible. Topic. Um, just give me a second. People are shouting in my house. It's weird. Uh, so basically, uh, I had an argument with a class mate basically today in geography, which is hilarious. We were talking about who would win in a fight, King Kong or Godzilla. Now, he wasn't being logic. He wasn't being reasonable. So, yeah, you could say that, well, wasn't really a good argument. But basically, I'm going to go over... Well, I'm going to say, because it's an argument that nobody can conclude, basically. But I'm trying, I'm going to try and attempt to conclude it here. Right, so if we're going to go with the Godzilla vs. King Kong, we're going to have to take the 19, well, the 1963 Godzilla and the 1963 King Kong, which were pretty much the same size. Uh, I think Kong was a bit lighter in weight. And probably older. Which means he's more experienced, so that's one attribute to Kong. But Godzilla, I think, is a more is a much more skilled fighter because by nineteen sixty three, well, he's only been, well, yeah, he's only been up against one monster, and that's Anguirus. So, and Anguirus was a pretty tough opponent. So, that's one attribute for Godzilla's. Yeah, one attribute for Godzilla's side. Mm, secondly, King Kong, as gorillas, as primates are. They have massive muscles, so King Kong is going to be quite good in a fight, so he's going to be very muscly, he's going to be brutish, force, and he's got a big brain, so he's going to be very intelligent. Now, bearing in mind, Godzilla is experienced. He doesn't have he doesn't have big arms, but he does have a big body. He does have massive tail and legs, so they will be at his disposal, so he can just whack Kong with his tails, but like, like, yeah, basically a slap to the face. And, um, Yes, that's one attribute for Godzilla. Um, another another key attribute to Godzilla is that he has atomic breath. If people don't know what his atomic breath is, it's like blue fire shooting out of his mouth in a beam that's a be basically a beam of fire. But it's really powerful. It's really powerful. It, it can just basically demolish an entire city with one blast. <laughs> uh, well, it can it can demolish a meteorite for God's sake. If you if you if any of you guys watch Godzilla: Final Wars, you can see how powerful his atomic breath is. And also to add, Godzilla he has quite tough hide, and he's come back from different fights. Well, no, I'm going off. I'm going off Godzilla then. Jeez. Well, he's 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 a, well, basically he's a he's an aquatic dinosaur, as some people say, that's been created by radiation. So he's going to be nuclear powered. So. He's it's basically like Vegeta when he's self destructed. If Godzilla, Godzilla may ha may have had the the uh, may have had the attribute of basically blowing himself up, which would have been a draw, which would be weird. But going back to Kong, he's quite intelligent and he's got those canines. He's got those signature canines, which are deadly because they they're quite large and deadly. And he's got his brain, so he can think. He can work out a puzzle. He'll be like, right, keep away from the atomic breath. Got to aim for a weak spot in that hide of his. So yeah, um, and also to Kong, he's very. I think a lot of apes. Well, I think a few gorillas. Well, gorillas. They sort of. They sort of have a bit of agility on their side, so Kong is quite good. And plus, he throws rocks, which is cool. So yeah, you got you got your side with Kong. Um, however, Godzilla, he has those teeth. He has the very sharp teeth, so he can manipulate that. Plus, uh. <laughs> Plus, if you saw that stop motion drop kick, he can do he can do a drop kick. And uh, yeah, it's it's weird, but oh well, we'll, we'll add that in. Sorry, uh, Tyler's and Neil and Down Young's theme songs on his on. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. And another thing to add to Godzilla, he he's he's more of a he's more of a brawler, which means he's more of a, a going brawler. So. Once he goes in, he can't. You can't stop him. He's pretty strong. He's pretty strong when he's running straight towards you. Now, those claws on his hands and his feet—they can be devastating if used. Yeah, if you, if used accurately. And another thing, Godzilla is more. He's more. I think he's more of a close-range fighter. 
and so is Kong. So both of them get an attribute. So, <laughs> so to finalise, who would win in the fight? Well, I've got to go. Possibly with. I was going to say King Kong at first, but I've got to go with Godzilla, basically. Not because I'm a Godzilla fan, but because... I mean, there's there's three things that really stand out to me. One, he can do close-range fighting and long-range fighting. Because if you think about it, he's got his atomic breath. He can shoot it, like, from quite a few miles away and be like... <laughs> and basically just annihilate someone. And then he can be close... He's good at close-range fighting. Plus, and there's another thing... He can be actually quite smart when thinking about it. I mean, think about it. Um, I mean, he was smart enough to attack. He was smart enough to attack Tokyo. <laughs> I'm kidding. But basically, yep, it's got to be Godzilla because he's he's kind of smart. He's got that hide. He's got atomic breath. He's he's a very good he's very good technical fighter. So, sorry, King Kong fans, but King Kong, if Godzilla and King Kong ever met again in like a modern movie, I think. It'd prove to be an an epic fight. So if there is a King Kong versus Godzilla movie coming out like any time soon in the next let's say thirty years, freaking amazing, mate. Au revoir, uh, au revoir, my yowzers. See you later. See you in PWD thirty four. Out. Bye.